All right, chat, I found something interesting. Hey, Flots, I am really bad Anna, but I really like her and I'm trying to get, trying my best to get better. You can definitely roast my dog water gameplay, but the Ryan and the rest of the team I had in my team really carried me, which I thought you'd like since you like finding good Ryan's and bronze, lol. P.S. If you're confused by my nanos, it's because I don't trust myself to nano correctly, so I asked them to call for nano, and then this is their profile. 750 SR, pretty low. There's a part here, though, that you have to take notice of, is there's six games won, uh, and they placed at, like, almost 900, which means that they're dropping. So, they're losing more games than they're winning. Okay. I know their account's pretty new. So, I will say, Once the starts, it's a good skin, no more messy. but, correct me if I'm wrong, this is one of the ones where her gun is, like, very clunky. Like, or not clunky, it's very large. It, it looks nice, but feasibility uh, is a little bit tougher. Plus, also, like, the, the little, you know, the little eye cups bouncing around would probably catch my attention mid-game. And, uh, two, I would look one. at it, and I shouldn't. Say hello? Wait, wait, you know the... Wait. I'm just, I'm so confused on what, what's happening here. Is, is there ghosts? <laughs> who are you looking for? Like, it's like, oh, come on, come on now. Come on. Wait, who are we? Is, everyone's gone. <laughs> huh? <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm a little concerned for the future now. Okay, going down main, nothing wrong here. Okay, probably shouldn't play down here. This is a little bit of a tough spot to play in because you're going to be in a choke and you're probably going to get headshot, but at least it is bronze, so you'll probably be fine. Not really need to nade, and they were 100 H or full HP. There's a Hanzo full scope. Never mind, they're dead. Oh, you run the DPS build for Ana. Nice. I know Emog runs that as well. Okay, and really, just let your mercy die because you were too busy shooting the enemies, but you know what? Okay, did you see that critical on the left? Okay, so, listen, I'm gonna be a little bit nicer to you because I know it, I can very clearly tell already. It's not that you've got an ego and you're trash. You're literally just being new. And so this is gonna be one of those very rare ones. I'm not gonna be that mean to you because you actually are new. How do I know you're new? Because you fire two bullets and then reload, like constantly. Like, watch this. Wait. You know, and in the spawn room, I think you're gonna, I think I'm gonna be a little bit nicer. So first off, stop reloading every time. Like, Ana in Overwatch 2 got a buff to have 14 shots and then got a nerf to her nade because her healing uptime is how many bullets she has. If you reload after every shot, you might as well just play healing Ash and that's just terrible. Uh, I'm not gonna say a whole lot about the aim. Yeah, the aim is kind of not all there, but to be honest with you, I don't think it has anything to do with your aim. I think you're just overwhelmed. Overwatch is a really hard game in a lot of ways. Um, it's why you see Overwatch players when they transition to other games. They're almost always top tier when the game comes out, right? When the game first comes out, Overwatch players typically dominate. Apex was like that. Valorant was like that in the beginning. Um, they're very, very, very good. Why? Because the way you have to aim in, in Overwatch is so dynamic compared to other games. You have to be tracking so many targets that are moving at once while you're shooting and staying alive. It is a lot, unless you're trained to play Overwatch a lot, it is a little bit tough. So, I think you're more overwhelmed than anything. So, uh, how do you fix that? I don't have an answer for you, I'm gonna be honest. Kinda just have to stop panicking and... I don't think you'll stop panicking until you get more experience. I can definitely understand where you thought your teammates were carrying. Uh, because you kind of look lost. And that's okay, though. You know. I will say that the aim trainer definitely would help. A little bit, maybe. Maybe. A little bit. Um, but also, there's also one thing I want to note. Is that... You said that you let your teammates call your nanos for you. Get in there. Okay. All right. I'm going to teach you something real quick. So back in the day, back in the day, when I was a zero viewer Andy, 
I would sometimes vaude review people to actually guy. help them, not spectate for stupid shit, which is what this series is, if you've never caught on. One of the things that I would always get most infuriated with is when I tell people to self-review themselves, because I can't do it all the time. They would say, oh, I do. I actually have a vaude review partner. I'm like, oh, really? They're silver. I'm like, oh, really? So, who, uh, so who, who's looking at your stuff? They're like, oh, my duo key partner. Oh, I was like, oh, interesting. So you're silver, and you have your silver friend look at your VOD and tell you what you're doing wrong? He's like, yeah, we VOD review each other. Like, Holy f If you're f***ing blind, why would you ask another blind person what you're looking at? Like, it... Hello? You're the blind leading the f***ing blind. Like, that makes no sense. Like, both of you have no f***ing clue what's happening. Zero. At all. None. You have no clue what's happening. Your brain has been shifted into neutral. And you're going to ask someone else whose brain who's also shifted into neutral what's happening. That it might be the possibly dumbest thing I've ever heard. What is that? The, why does that uh, pertain to this? Well, here's the point. You're playing in 700 SR. You're playing with literally the worst players in Overwatch. Like, period. I'm sorry. Like, it's the truth. If you're 500 SR, if you're not actively trolling... You are playing with either brand new people or just the worst players, right? Them telling you when to nano them is not going to get you anywhere because they don't fucking know when they should be nanoed. There's like a fine line in between trying to be a helpful teammate and listening to your teammates. And also, they're kind of fucking stupid. This is actually the right call. So, nanoing your Orisa in the back line, standing behind her shield at full HP is quite possibly one of the worst nanos I've ever seen. Uh, and I don't say that against you because you said your teammates were telling you when. And I think you understood that they were probably bad nanos. Uh, but good God, that might be the worst nano I've ever seen. Also, it would not be bronze without a 3k high noon, a blade that gets popped from one person, and a 2k bomb. Holy shit. Now listen, here's what you gotta do. Learn for yourself. You learn what the right decisions are and you stick to them. Because these are teammates are not gonna help you, like realistically. Enable them to win, because it's a team game, but that doesn't mean like you gotta listen to everything they're saying. Um, sorry, on for how you should play the game. Like, they wanna go in, go in, but like, you know, within reason. <sighs> Good sleep. Woken up immediately. That's, that's gotta be the Ana special. Also, I also want you to say this, okay? This is, this is like, this is where you have to understand that you're not playing a healer, you're playing a support. Um, that's why I was making the DPS build earlier joke, right? The DPS build means that you're doing damage, you're throwing nade aggressively when you're safe, you're doing damage to enemies, healing your teammates. Like, instead of standing behind your Arista shield and just sitting there and just like pumping heals them, that doesn't do anything. Like, like, okay. This is kind of like the hot take of it, but this is what people were, were debating about Overwatch 2, right? And people were debating in Overwatch 2 why support is a lot harder and it's not the same type of thing because this isn't how Overwatch is supposed to be played. You're not supposed to sit there and AFK behind a tank and just heal them on, on, on cooldown. Like, that is quite frankly quite boring. Uh, I mean, some people... God, such an awkward team comp looking at it. So your Zarya is on a solo mission. I would be looking for your Zarya. Like, you're looking for flankers and stuff like that and following your team around, but you're playing Ana, like, okay. Okay, we're being we're being slightly helpful today. Okay, we're being slightly helpful today. I'm in a good mood. And so why, why do you have to follow your Ryan down here? Why don't you just go to sit over here? Like, literally, just like come over here and sit here. That's it. You know, if they want to run down there, if they want to play over here, you know, guess what? You can just back up three feet. And guess what? They want to play on point, you move forward a few feet. It's so much easier because look at how much stuff is in your way when you walk over here. There's two pillars. There's the angles of the floor, right? The angle of the floor. So the floor is technically natural cover to you. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, they get anti Don't get me wrong. But like your Zarya, no help in them. Even if they weren't anti no help in them. Never mind the whole aim thing, which, to be honest with you, is kind of need some help. Good sleep, though. Good sleep, though. I think, uh, I think confidence, honestly, is probably your biggest miss right now. 
you had more confidence, I think you'd probably be in a lot better spot. I don't know if I'd say, like, you know, you'd climb a bunch, but I think you could probably make, like, silver. I don't think, you know, I don't think it's that, that far off. Now this, this is what I was talking about right here. This is the good spot. But now, the question is, oh, there's a Genji pressuring you out. Okay, cool. Well, guess what? Instead of walking all the way around here, you could just drop onto your team if you really needed to. Look, look what's happening. You're just completely, you're just useless running away. You're literally just uselessly running away the entire time. Just, you know, like you're just, you're just completely walking on your own, you know? And now you're taking this fight and to be honest with you, aim is not in your specialty right now. So I think that's going to be probably one of your biggest or biggest hurdles with playing Ana. Also, I don't mean to be rude, uh, but is your... Is your mouse pad really small? Because watch your mouse movements. They're so small, right? Like you only like shift left and right, like small amounts, right? Like look at this. It looks like you're picking up your mouse when you had to go there, right? Like picked it up again, picked it up again. Get the sleep actually. I might have missed that the first time. Actually, I don't think we got that far. But it looks like your 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 sensitivity is really low, and you're also playing on a really small mouse pad. Well, that would have been so that would have been clutch if you got Nano in time. You're also nailing all the up close sleep dart, which, which is a nice W. It's these it's these moments right here. Uh, there's a dragon coming at you. Did you see that? Okay, you're good. I thought it was a little bit uh, a little bit lower. I guess uh. I would have, or I, sorry, at least I would have expected it to be a little bit lower. Oh, I like this, though. Going to try to be aggressive. I like it. I actually... I wonder... I'm actually very curious if this is actually a setup issue. Like, are you playing on, like, a laptop? Oh, my God. If you want peaked, like, a little bit further to the left, you actually might have died there. You're yeah, gonna hit him with that nano? I would hit him with that nano right there. What the... Maybe someone... Okay, so this is this is this is the best shit right here. Uh, I think you're probably gonna live this fight. That's fine. But so forever ago, me and Karki were doing a thing where I was teaching him a little bit. Of Ryan, he was teaching me a little bit of Ana. And one of the things he taught me was I needed to scope it way more with Ana, right? Like either quick scoping or just like your scoped accuracy is so much higher than your hip fire accuracy. And you're seeing it right now. Like you're trying to hip fire the Ryan and you can't hit him for shit. Yeah, is your aim top tier with the scoped in? No, but it's still significantly better. So, you should always try to be in a spot where you're kind of safe and you can also zoom in. Also, I want you to know that you did not use your nano the entire... Okay, that doesn't count. You didn't use your nano the whole game. That doesn't count. That literally does not count. Using it right at the end of the game doesn't count. So, being more proactive with your ult is also very nice because you're waiting for your teammates to tell you. That's a confidence issue. If you're waiting for your teammates to tell you what to do... That is typically one of those positions where you're like, I'm inferior to my teammates. I feel that way if I play like Valorant with people that are much more experienced with me. I feel inferior and I'd rather them tell me what to do so I don't f their plans up. And then I will try to perform on that action. But if I'm good at the game or I'm good at, you know, like Overwatch or Apex or Valorant, you know, let's say I learned it, I would proactively make those decisions. So um, I would consider... I would consider you being the dictator of when you're gonna nano, unless it's like very obvious, like nano blade and they're setting up for it, or it's like your Ryan's like, okay, I'm gonna go in here. Can you nano me? Nano me? Nano me? Nano me? Hello? <laughs> All right, you know what? <laughs> Fine, fair, have it. All yours. Where are you going? Whoa! What? Hello? What? Hey, what? What? Why are you on a leisurely stroll? Your team, your team's gonna die by the time you get here. That's your dead Ryan. No, don't go reload. Hello? No, 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 no. This is unacceptable. No, that... Literal... Okay, listen to me. There is not a world where you should finish a fight that went this long and get 15% to nano. That, that, is, un that is unacceptable. That is, that is literally unacceptable. No, 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 no. I never want to see this again. Never. Listen. You were a little bit behind because you were playing with the fucking... The inflatable... Bottle, sure, and he, fine, but like you still gotta make the walk. Start walking towards your team, at least a little bit. You know, like if if you end up deciding that's too far, 
you can peek a little bit from this angle and maybe like decide like you can kind of like peek and like hey I need a little help back here you know but like this is the worst rotation ever this is awful like this is this is genuine like okay your two cho choices here are to walk forward and die or walk forward and live this is not an option like this is this wasn't even on the menu and the worst part is you get there and then go to help and then you shoot the dead Rhine immediately reload there Winston jumps off the fucking map Oh, this just gets better every time. Still nobody's getting healed yet. Shot one bullet into a wall, reloaded again, throws the nade, shoots one bullet and then reloads? Shoots three bullets, misses the sleep dart. And then, I don't know what's worse, them or you, to be honest with you. I think them, actually. Good Lord, that was awful. Please, don't ever do that again. I. Uh, uh, Honestly, take away aim, take away bad decisions, everything. Like, like that was that was the worst one. Also, the fact that we're playing over here right now is uh, highly concerning. Stop. Listen, I don't care if you learn nothing from me. If you think I'm just a fucking blabbling idiot, you know what I mean? Like, whatever it is, stop reloading after every shot. That's all I ask. You can do it if you're poking very early. You're poking for damage and they haven't even left spawn yet. But this is not that time. Stop it. Stop it, you have 12 bullets. And you know what? I was going to make a joke. This is the first time you hit the bottom of your clip and then you died. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of big sad. I also do want to know, I don't think you've died yet. I think that was your first, that was your first death of this entire series. And you know why that was your first death? Because you play way too safe. You play way too safe. You're so safe that you can't even be helpful. That's why you feel like you're getting carried and your teammates are popping off. Yo, sleep them. Yes, that's what I like to see. Now imagine though, imagine if you were confident though before that, and you hadn't nated your Rhine because you were scared, right? Like, there, there, your Rhine was perfectly standing still. Just shoot him. Just literally shoot him. Just use your left click and fucking heal him. But you're panicked because you see the red critical thing. So you throw your nade. But guess what? Then they fuck up. You make this great play and you can't anti him. You can't anti him back. So he might escape. Luckily, he does not. But he had very much the opportunity to escape. And those, and if you look at it and go, well, he still died, so it worked. No, that's the wrong way to look at it because you want to look at making things better, right? That scared me with that noise. What noise? Wait, where are you going? Oh my God. What are you doing back here? If you go back up on that platform again, I swear to God. Okay. I have, I have to mention it. I both adore and fucking hate this like reaction. It's like watching react content where it's like, you're like, holy shit, I hit the sleep. Watch, watch at the downtime here, ready? Okay, watch how long this takes okay, from the counter charge. You're going to live. Ready? Sleep darts fired. Okay. It's been about two and a half seconds since we've done anything else. Okay. So from 1038 to 1043, we hit one button. We hit one key. We hit the shift key. That's it. For five seconds, we hit one key. Not even a mouse click. One key. We barely even fucking moved. That is like that you have to like, like I hate to say the like the phrasing, but I don't have a better phrasing. It's like show some athleticism, and you have to be able to do them more than one thing at one at a time. Like, like you know, it has to be more than like one actual function at a time. Like. Like, this is like, you can only breathe or walk at the same time. Like, if you try to do both, you die, you know? All right. Now, you've had this nano for about a minute. 
What was that? Hold on. What the f was that? Do you have confirmation nano on? I've literally never seen someone do this before. ML uses it? No way. I've never seen someone use this before. Because you can nano around corners with it? Oh, so there's a tech with it. Oh. There's a tech with it you can do. That's five head. That's actually five head. I have to look into that later. That's five head. All right. So, yeah, I've never, I've literally never seen a single person use this in history before. Uh, so, that's interesting. Anyways, though, at least we used the nano, which is a, a good starting point. Uh, it needs to happen more often. Cooks in America where they cook as a pro chef watches over them and helps. There should be a show, Worst Hour in Bronze, where top 500 watch them as they play. I can see Flats leaning in and being like... Nah, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stop. like that. Just stop. Give me the effing mouse. <laughs> so hip firing is actually super useful, but like, I'm, I'm almost wondering if, you know, the hip firing is something you should like work on more or you should work on more on your scoped in because like that was a good sequence you know but you know it's it still kind of feels like you're in no man's land a little bit also i love this dude look at this when the fight ends it's so different everyone just afks look at wait everyone just standing still standing still standing still kind of standing still moving around a little bit is the Doom moving around? No, Doom's really not moving around. Everyone just sits there and waits. Uh oh. Uh, I, being a support's really good. Being aggressive and being a support is really good, but you're riding still 1 HP and it's uh, getting a little panic. I, I, honestly, your Ryan did a really good job staying alive there. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That was actually a fantastic job. They're anti. At least a good attempt, though. At least you recognize that you should try to heal them. Um, which is a good first step. There's a wall there. You know that, right? Okay. Panics. The the panic nades, I think if you stop the panic nades, you're going to be in a much better spot. Also, they're Ryan. Hello? You're going to sleep this Genji, aren't you? Was that not the most perfect sleep dart on the Zen through the wall that I've ever seen? Yep, they're cheating. Please, nano, nano somebody. It's the last fight. Just do it. Just do it. Just nano someone. Nano them. Just send them in. Victory. You didn't nano him. You didn't nano him. I'm not going to lie. You didn't nano him. I'm a little upset. But that's okay. I hope that was a little bit better. That was a little bit, a little bit more of a nicer one than normal. But, I mean, potential. I mean, you got to hit the aim trainer a little bit. But that's not the only thing. There's a lot of other stuff that's much more tangible that I think you could do. So, 